Hi, I'm Marty Hewlett. I'd like to talk to you for a while about mRNA vaccines, the vaccines we now have available to make us immune to the virus that causes COVID-19. Um, these vaccines are based on using just what's called a messenger RNA molecule. A lot of people think that these were rushed into development because we got them so fast after the pandemic began. But what you need to know is that these kinds of vaccines or this, this messenger RNA platform has been in development for over a decade. Pfizer was using it before this to make drugs that can be delivered to cancer cells. Um, Moderna was making vaccines, in fact, a variety of different vaccines over the last 10 years. So this is not new. The reason it came so fast is because of the capability of the mRNA vaccines. Because in fact, what the vaccine contains is a small lipid nanoparticle. It's just a little globule of fatty molecules inside which is a messenger RNA molecule. And that molecule contains only the information for the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. That's all. So when that's injected into your arm, it then goes into cells, some of, the, some of them being your immune cells, and produces just that protein so that your immune system can recognize it and make antibodies to it. That way you're protected from the infection itself. What this means is that the vaccine does not contain any virus particles. It doesn't contain an activated virus or any other form of virus. This means that you cannot get COVID-19 from the vaccine. That's not possible. It only contains the information for the spike protein of the virus. The mRNA goes into the cells and uses the apparatus, little machines in the cell called ribosomes, to make the spike protein. The mRNA does not interact with your DNA. It does not go into the nucleus. It cannot be converted into DNA to do anything. And so it cannot affect your DNA. Uh, just keep that in mind. Now, the vaccine has been tested on a large number of people. Uh, these are the, the data from Pfizer that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, last month in December. Uh, and what they did is to have about 40,000 volunteers. Uh, they broke them up into two groups. One group was given uh, a saline injection as what's called a placebo. The other group got the actual vaccine. And then they tracked them over the days after they were given the first dose. Remember, this is a two-dose vaccine. The first dose is on day, day zero, the second dose on day 21. So in this graph, you can see in the blue symbols the, uh, the number of COVID-19 cases that accumulated over time. This goes out to about 120 days in, in the placebo group. In other words, the ones who were not vaccinated. The red symbols, on the other hand, show the COVID-19 cases that occurred in the vaccine group. And as you can see, after about 10 days, even after the first dose, the number of cases after that is almost flat, okay? This is where the efficacy number was calculated of 95% effective. Side effects from the vaccine are maybe injection site soreness, some body aches or mild fever. These and other kinds of side effects are exactly what you expect when you're vaccinated. They let you know that your immune system's actually working to recognize this, uh, this protein and make, make protective antibodies uh, for when you actually encounter the real virus. Um, you've also heard about allergic reactions. Uh, they're very rare, uh, mainly among people who have food allergies. So if that's something you're worried about, make sure you contact your, your immunologist or your rheumatologist before you receive the vaccine, just to check in with them about how you should or should not approach this. But in general, I think these are quite safe uh, vaccine platforms. Um, so my recommendation to you is that um, you give some thought to this, you look at the data, uh, and hopefully what I've given you here to think about will get you past some of the presumed problems that people might have with taking the mRNA vaccines. I was vaccinated myself three weeks ago. I'm about to receive my second dose, and I feel fine. Um, thanks for listening, and good luck. <laughs>